U.S. Supreme Court dodges religious freedom questions again. And this is the Editor's Choice Report. Our top story for our editor's picks is, well, just what I read. U.S. Supreme Court rebuffs claims of workplace religious bias. And this is by Reuters, but it's from investing.com. The Supreme Court in Washington Let's see. The Supreme Court on Monday sidestepped a chance to further expand religious rights, turning away two cases in which employees accused companies of violating federal anti-discrimination laws by insufficiently accommodating requests for time. So let's see. Let's go. Let's go and get more information here. Yeah, let's see, for time off to meet religious obligations. The justices declined to hear appeals by two men of different Christian denominations, a Jehovah's Witness from Tennessee and a Seventh-day Adventist from Florida, of lower court rulings that rejected their claims of illegal religious bias. Lower courts found that it that the accommodations the men sought would have placed too much hardship on and we don't want to put any hardship on the employers. You know, in my little system, the way that I think about human interaction, I think about it in terms of three levels. There are three levels, and I'm even using my hands to speak as I usually do, but you can't see it. And the first level is, is coercive. That is where I just take stuff from you. I don't care. The second is cooperative. Cooperative is when, is when one party has significantly a significant imbalance of power over the other party. Like, for instance, if the other party doesn't have any real options other than to use your service, they're volunteering to sign the agreement, but they're volunteering because they don't have a choice. So that's cooperation. That's, that's, that's mostly how we keep our cattle in control in America today is we use cooperation. And then there is consensual. Consensual is when you have people who either are of of more or less equal power proportion or they act as if they are. And so what they come to is a true consensual exchange where where each party is, is seeking to authentically serve the other and deliver to the other more than they expect. And this exchange, that's, that's not possible when you have significant imbalances of power. Like for instance, we have 600 and what is it? 614 billionaires in America that have more wealth than the bottom 49% or for whatever 48% of America combined. That is 150 million people. You imagine 614 human beings have more real economic power. And economic power is, is gun power because if you have economic power, you have government power as well. Uh, they have more power than 150 million people combined. That's very telling. Not not a good system when you when you see things like that. And I'm not a communist. Communism creates the, it creates the same actually their imbalances of power instead of 614 it's more like one <laughs> there's one billionaire and maybe 10 millionaires uh, that that's what it's like in a communist system russia testing new super torpedo that could cause radioactive tsunamis there you go vladimir putin is testing terrifying new super torpedo that could create radioactive tsunamis according to reports Satellite images show that Russia is consolidating its grip on the Arctic by building two new military bases. It's just, it's what nation states do. Read, read history. You'll see what nation states do. It's, it's con or, or well, nation state is kind of a new phenomenon to human history the last two, three hundred years. But states in general, states are run by psychopaths in general. And this is what they do. They're, they're just shoring up their own personal power. And that affects hundreds of millions, if not billions of people. We have the coming SBC split, and this is over, I believe, the, the, the gay question, I believe, which is, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, what is it, the critical race theory, uh, what, all these things that I, I, I could, I'm going to do a story sometime uh, speaking about all this because there's so much nuance, I think, so much nuance to be expressed here that nobody, well, not nobody, but few people are, are willing to deal with because everybody has such emotional connections to, to one side or another and it's kind of a winner take all kind of environment that we live in and, and there's more headlines you can read those this 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 segment went too long <laughs>